Hello everybody, welcome to the NRSL MLP Cup Series. We're here live at Dover International Speedway for the running of the Littlest Pet Shop 500. Just three races left this season, and all these are going to be at tracks you're probably going to be familiar with, at 2013 versions of them. We'll accept presentals, but you get the idea. On the pole today, it is the 31 of Michael White, our last winner from Freeway, on the outsides of 13 Henry Nova. Starting third is the 21 of Ryan Acosta, and fourth is the 29, Dustin Ray. Starting fifth is the 9, 73 of Pichu, and sixth is the 17, Kyle Beck. Starting seventh is the 20 of Austin Geip, and eighth is the 56, DJ Curtis. And starting ninth is the 26, Alex Ragow, rounding up the top 10, the 18 of Kyle Thomas. And now, without further ado, let's hear those famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! So here we are at Dover, the world famous Monster Mile. This is the 2013 version, so if it goes well, I might add this as a Pokemon Cup schedule. And this is, I promise, Last time we'll do that. But anyway, 40 laps here at Dover. So, 40 laps here at Dover at the Monster Mile. So, here we go. Green flag is out. White's going to lead the first lap, but here comes Ryan Acosta. Does he have a chance to pass? Whoa, contact between these drivers. There was contact. A little bit of contact there. There's a spin. There is a spin behind. Sam Young is wrecked. Jason Trost and Charles Roberts. And the caution's out first time today. This could be another throw oh, and a wall hit by Pichu. Nova takes third. And the 31 is your leader. Jason Trost wrecked out along with other drivers in that field, so that was one heck of a wreck. So let's see what happened. It happened around the middle something. Oh, Nick Parasol's got way too high up there. Look at that. We gotta go back. So here it is again, Nick Parasols gets a little loose right up on the, right up the, uh, yeah, right there on the apron and then hits the one. And then 34, 47, they all pile up. Gabe Williams also gets a big clip as well. And Seth Brown gets held up right uh, uh, up, up on the wall. And then another spin with 27 and 40, they also spin out. Wow, that was a lot of drivers that wrecked down. A lot more drivers dropping like flies right now. Was there another wreck behind? Ahead or behind? Because I need to know this. Because right off the bat, the Dover Monster has taken a lot of its victims right now. What a way to start off the race. Oh, something went wrong. Oh boy, there's Pichu hitting the wall. And then under caution, somewhere happened. Must have been somewhere. Oh, he got loose right there. He got too loose on the turn, taking, taking out Pichu as well. And then, here comes the other field. Brad Johnson slid up too. PJ Williams trying to avoid a gun gets hit by Dion Scott. And, uh, wow, this happened after the caution flag came out. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, Ethan Hamill got a hit. Oh, Chris Washer, I'm not sure if he got hit by that, because if he did, that would be trouble. 
No, he didn't. But wow, what a way to start off today's race. A lot of a wreck already. Drivers wrecking out. Kyle Thomas, Austin Geip, Dion Scott, Eli Sack, Ethan Hamill, Jacob Waller, Sam Young, Nick Parasols, and Charles Roberts. Done for the day here at Dover. And boy, what a way to start off here. Michael White still has the lead. He's going to try to become the first driver to win three races this season. He won at freeway. Could this be a chance for him to win again? Here we go. Green flag will be out here at Dover. And the green's out. Costa's desperate for that move, for the lead. Literally on the bumper of the 31. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. On the wall. Wall. Got a little loose there. White saved it, though. Was able to keep it together. And now Nova's going for second. Here he comes. Smith on pit road and the others, and we're still green. So thank goodness. Here comes Nova. Nova battling for that second spot. Oh man, that is another drop car where the high side is preferred. Here comes DJ Curtis, three wide battle between Justin Ray and James Shelley. This could be important. It's an important crucial battle. Ray trying to get on that high side. And trying, look at this, Shelley's on the high side right now. And Shelley takes it. Now Ray has just taken it away from Curtis. Oh my gosh. First quarter is already over. It's still Michael White the leader. As no one's been able to. As he's been leading every lap so far. Look at this, here comes Brad Johnson looking to battle against, oh look at this, four wide, this is going to get ugly, and Johnson spins, Sanford involved as well, George Wark is involved, and now Dylan Young spun, Winston and there's, there's also Tanker, Alex Tanker involved, wow, and that's, that's our second caution today. And I think I already know Michael White's going to lead to the stripe. He's got no contest right now. 91, 24, and 48 just clipped each other, spinning, each, spinning them out. Dylan Young and George Wark also spun. And Chris Washer was able to make it to another wreck. Wow, that's going to be crucial. And another spin, Team Pony and Devin Winston. No, wait, Alex Tanker and Devin Winston also involved in the wreck. Yikes. And they were racing to the line, so... Well, good thing. 88 is pitting. And oh, what, what is the 16 doing? I don't know. But oh well. So anyway, wow, Dylan Young, Gabe Williams, Abby Sachs, Alex Rackow, Jason Tross, Brad Johnson, Alex Tinker, Devin Whitston. No, oh, more retirees. Tyler Fat Pichu, James Shelley is done for the day. Henry Nova, Nick Barney, Ryan Acosta, Alex Tinker, no, Alex Ragow. Wow. 18 drivers already still in the field at Dover. We haven't even reached halfway. And this is actually, wow, this is, a, they actually have a little bit more drivers retired in that stat than, wow, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I really can't believe that we have had a wreck fest already and already not even halfway point. And on top of that, two lap cars will be on top of white, the 33 and the 88. Will that dampen white's chances of pulling away again? We'll see. 
Green flag's out. And no, that high side's working out for the 31. A good start for him. Everyone else pitted, by the way. Dustin Ray, he is now in the second spot. Slap cars are not a factor anymore for those leaders. We're almost halfway through this race at Dover. We're almost halfway. Michael White's led most of the first half today, but we've seen these those dominations slip away a lot. We'll see if White can hold on this time. Michael White with the retiring of James Shelley could take second away in the point standings if he does well. Almost 20 to go. Only thing Justin Ray has a chance about to pass is if he has a good run. If he has that perfect run. Or if uh, the 31 chooses to pit, whichever comes first. 20 to go. Here's Austin LaPlante, he made the move on Tommy Simpson. LaPlante makes the pass. And now he's in the top 10. All of a sudden he's going to the Or Pittis hits again. Whoa, Ferguson the wall. Ferguson got a piece of the wall there. Wow. Ferguson got a piece. My goodness. And the caution's out again, I think. No, I thought the caution was out again. I thought the lights came on. Oh, could this be a battle for second between DJ Curtis and, and Dustin Ray? Not yet. Just doesn't have enough speed. Oh, Curtis wants more. Curtis still wants that second spot desperately, but Ray with the block. Dustin Ray with a big block at Dover. A big one there. But Curtis knows he isn't done yet. Now Ray is still hanging on to that second spot. That is a crucial one because Michael White hasn't hit it yet. I don't think he has. I'm not sure if he did. And right now we're keeping an eye on these two. They're fighting for second. Not much racing to show you at this point as there really isn't much passing going on at Dover as expected. This is 2013 mod. They really don't know how to really set up the good lines to pass. It's not my fault. It's these the ones who designed this car, these um, tracks. They're not really good for passing. They're only good for realism, realism or something like that. But not really good for passing. And a little disappointing to see that. But Dover wasn't really the track for me to, for the choice. I just wanted to use it in the series to try it out. 13 to go here, here at Dover. Nick Barney is the last car to keep an eye on. 
when he has the most damage. And Tyler and Maverick are also approaching him quick. And if the 29 can get an advantage on there, on the lap cars, he might have a chance. He still has a chance to win it. Nine to go for Michael White. They're close to the 88 by the lap. Here we go. It's going to be one interesting race. Well, not really, as the 88 Pat and the 31 just zooms by. Dustin Ray looks in for the advantage, looks for the hole. Can he get the hole in? No. Wow, that was close. DJ Curtis going for second, forcing Ray up high. But Ray still has that preferred line. Oh, boy. And now the 31 has just passed Faber. And Faber holds up 78. Full wide battle for second. This could get ugly. Oh, Curtis spins out. DJ Curtis spins. That going to bring out the caution. With six to go. DJ Curtis has just spun. Wow. Interesting, interesting, interesting. My goodness. It was a it was an ugly battle with the lap cars taking over all right. Look at this. DJ Curtis and du and the 17, they all got loose on the turn. Boom, Curtis just spun out on the track trying to get the second spot away from Ray for most of the day. My goodness. My goodness. Ray, a tough break for DJ Curtis was well on his way to a top five finish and then this happened. I don't think they're going to go for pit stop at this point. And what is the pace car doing below pit road? Are we getting back under green right now? No, um... I don't know what's going on, really. I am not quite sure. And White's saying out he's going to go for it. DJ Curtis um, has retired. DJ Curtis is done for the day. White's been dominating most of the day. Could this be his second consecutive win? Could he have his third win of the season? He's staying out. I think he pitted earlier. I'm not quite sure, but he, I, yeah, I think he pitted earlier, safe to say. So there'll be two to go here at Dover. We'll see if any one is going to be able to make a move on the 31. He's been leading every lap today. It's just been a, he's been on fire in the past two races. We'll see if the streak will continue. Washer, though, by the way, is in fifth. So Washer might not be a bigger loss as he might think. Green flag is out. It looked as though Dustin Ray was going to have a move on the 31. And I think he might. He has a chance. He's literally on the bumper of the 31. Here comes the fourth turn. That could decide the race. One to go here, here at Dover. White having a challenge. White flag is out and he's pulling away. Michael White, his dominance will be safe for another day. He won last night. He won the last race at Freeway. The caution's out. Doesn't matter. We'll race it to the line. And off the final turn in dominating fashion. Dominating Dover. Michael White gets his third win of the season here at, Do here at the Monster Mile. And Michael White is on fire. Winning two, winning back to back. We're not even going to look back at the caution. It was George Work, Seth Brown making contact. But Michael White and two wins in a row. Back-to-back -back wins for the 31. And he is going to be a championship contender to remember. And just two races left, anything goes. So we may have ourselves a new competitor in the ring. And just a just couple races left. Wow, what a race for the 31. Dustin Ray was second. Never was able to make a move on him all day. Team Pony will be third, their best finish this season. Scott Ferguson fourth, Chris Washer fifth, PJ Williams sixth, Austin LaPlante seventh, Charles Sanford eighth, Ray Vidarbu ninth, and Tommy Simpson tenth. And here's the rest of the field. So we'll show you the point standings right now.
So here are your point standings after Dover. Chris Washer is still your leader, 22 points ahead of new second place Michael White, who is becoming now the first driver to win three races this season. A promising driver now, and hopefully we can see him in the Pokemon Cup Series soon. James Shelley drops down to third, 77 points behind. Kyle Beck moves up to fourth, still progress, 153 points behind though, a still a long shot. Henry Nova down to fifth, George Rourke down to sixth, Jonathan Tholman stays in seventh, Jake Williams up to eighth, Connor Smith up to ninth, and Ryan Acosta down to tenth. And the biggest mover was Dustin Ray after, was Dustin Ray after his top five, he moves up to fifteenth, to fifteenth in the standings. And the big and Lawson LaPlante was also a big move of the race. 22 position, he moves up to 22nd, moving up eight positions as well. Oh wait, no, I should say Scott Ferguson's the big move of the race. Nine positions up, 25th. Yeah, I, 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 I almost didn't see that. I'm sorry. Jacob Lawler was the big loser though. Nine positions down to 27th. But still, two races left. Next race will be at Indy, and this could set up who's going to be competing for the championship pitcher at Zen Joltis. Who's going to set up the championship pitcher at Zen Joltis. We will see. We'll see you at Indy.